happy day three of 13 days to Halloween, Thir whatever I'm calling it, the 13 days of Halloween. Today we're going to talk about Halloween decor, not necessarily, necessarily something I'll typically talk about on this channel, but one of my favorite things about the Halloween season is the decorating. As you can see behind me, I had to do a little something for the YouTube background. So I have my top 10 favorite decor items. Um, a few of them I've recently gotten this year, or a few we've had for sure, for sure three, I think about three or four years the oldest item is. So uh, I want to show them to you and I'm going to put pictures up here, over here, somewhere <laughs> of where they are at in the house. So that maybe you can get some inspiration and there might still be some items you can get. I'm a huge Dollar Tree fan. Um, and I know Dollar Tree a lot of the times just brings back the same stuff, which, hey, that's not bad. We're not complaining. So let's just start and I will try and tell you where everything came from as well. So the most convenient thing to start with is this guy. It is our Hocus Pocus cat. He just has the tag on there that says Hocus Pocus. He has a cute little witch hat with a bat. And yeah, he's just, he's adorable. We're big cat people, so obviously I had to get this. Um, $15 at Michael's, but chances are we did not actually get him for $15, because if you are a frequent Michael's shopper, you know that they quite often do like the 25% off Halloween decor like quite early before this season is over even. So this little guy is number one. Once again, in absolutely no particular order. Let's do these. These aren't even necessarily Halloween. These will be up until at least the end of November. These are from Menards, which I have come to realize through some friends that if you're not from a certain area of the U.S., you don't know what Menards is. So Menards would be equivalent to maybe a Lowe's. Um, <laughs> I don't know hardware stores, you guys. I need, I need the husband. Um, it's, it's a hardware store. Lowe's, maybe even tra maybe Tractor Supply. Um, I'm making myself super Midwest right now, but... You, you, you get it. <laughs> so that is where these guys came from. Aren't they cute? This, the orange one says pumpkin spice lover. The other one says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And ironically enough, um, Dalton is way more of the pumpkin spice lover than I am. I love the smell. I could, I could light candles. I could, anything, anything pumpkin spice. But it's, it's definitely way more his thing than mine. I'll give you guys an up close view there. Super cute. And I like that they can stay out for longer than just October. So that's a definite bonus. Alrighty. Okay, so next we have this Dollar Tree sign, which I believe, I think this is one of the four year, the four year ones. This just hangs on our China Hutch, as you'll see in the picture. And it says, home of a handsome devil, a wicked witch, and their little monsters. Which, obviously, the cats are our little monsters. We don't have any children yet. But it's very fitting. <laughs> and I just, I thought it was cute. And it was a buck. It's got a cute little ribbon. So, just a cute little decor. This, yeah, like I said, you'll see pictures here. Um, and I'm going to try and show everything, but... Because like I said, these are just my personal top 10 items. And I'm not going to lie, it was very, it was very hard. Okay, so the next thing, hmm, what should I do, what should I do? Let's do this. So, I have a couple of shelves that are full of potion bottles. Uh, most of the potion bottles are from Michael's. I believe some are probably from Walmart. This particular one is Crushed Wings. Fine mix of bat wings, eye, eyeballs, and saliva. <laughs> so you've got the little bat up top there. A ribbon and then just the label. And the label, full disclosure, it's on super crooked. 
there is no price on this one, but um, like I was saying about Michaels earlier, you know most of the time there is a certain percentage off, usually. I did not say the price of the Menards things, did I? It doesn't say. That would be why. But I'm I'm guessing between two and three dollars. And this guy was probably about nine-ish. Somewhere in there, I would think. All right. Hmm. What shall I do next? Let's do this. This is from Spirit, and we got it last year. Uh, $12.99, since I still see the price on there. But it is a quote from Hocus Pocus. It says, you're going to turn me into one of those fat, useless, contented house cats, aren't you? Um, and I realized, actually, watching Hocus Pocus this season that the aren't you? Not correct. <laughs> but I love Binks. I love Hocus Pocus. So it was necessary. And it does, we just have, this one just sits, as you'll see, but it does have options to hang. And I did see this at Spirit still this year. So if you're in the market for one, go look. It might not be a lost cause just yet. Oh, I'm not going to stand up. Okay. Next, let's do my little shelf sitter here. Um... Oh my goodness, I can't remember if these were Menards or Michaels, but um, there are two others, which you'll see in the picture, but it's see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, little shelf sitters that are skeletons. This guy has a cat on him, one has a raven or a crow, and I can't remember what the third one was, but super cute. I was I was kind of surprised I didn't have to beg for them a little bit more, but I think Dalton even likes them as much as I do. <laughs> so next, this guy I actually got in a Signature Homes, um, like a surprise box a couple years ago. And I'd forgotten I had it, but when we hauled, uh, when Dalton hauled, I'm going to get Get some grief for that if I say we because I did not haul anything upstairs. <laughs> when he was hauling the stuff upstairs this year, I opened a box that said something about a jack-o'-lantern and a candle. And there was this guy. And Dalton had gotten one of these for something else and it didn't work. So we put him in here. And uh, this sits on a spot in our hallway. But it has several different settings. I don't know how, you can kind of, you can kind of see. Oh yes, this is <laughs> flash warning. <laughs> Sorry. Then there is one more yet. Oh, no. Did I already do the three? But yes, he's pretty cute. We enjoy lighting him up and having him in the hallway at night. And then the last item, once again, I'm going to talk about Menards. I'm super Midwest, apparently. This was at Menards this year. Uh, once again, no price. Uh, they had a couple different colors and quotes, but this one, obviously, I had to. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. I love it. So this sits up so that we can actually see it, and yeah, I don't cover the words. But yes, that, are, uh, that concludes... My top 10 favorite items of Halloween decor. I love decorating for Halloween. It bums me out that eventually I really will run out of space and have no reason <laughs> to buy anymore. Hey, slightly different angle. This is Afterthought Libby coming at you, realizing that I only showed you nine items. Here is item number 10. Also from Michaels, I feel like that's pretty safe to say it might have been Walmart, but it is our boo sign and I love our boo sign. And I looked down at my feet when I thought I was done and realized that I was not. So, so here is number 10. <laughs> it is pretty awesome. It lights up. Um, it's pretty bright in a dark room. So maybe I will try and make the picture for this one in the dark. We shall see. Yeah. Those are my top 10. So the last thing we have to do is our day three of our 
spooky countdown. So just to review, we have gotten on day one, we got Freddy. And on day two, we got Miss Lydia Dietz. So now, on to day three. I have another friend opening up this same calendar on TikTok. And so far, we've been the same. So I, I do wonder... I don't doubt that it's only 13 figures, but I was kind of wondering if it wasn't in a different order. Not that that particularly matters. Who do we got? We got Jack. Dalton will be happy from The Shining. It is Jack, right? <laughs> Goodness gracious. There he is. He's got, he's got an axe. He's got some blood spatter. Yeah, he's real cute. <laughs> I'm very excited to have these all open. I'm trying to figure out if anybody has any ideas. Please comment below. I'm not a crafty person. But I'm trying to figure out a way. And maybe it is as simple as, like, cutting these doors off. Because I, I love this box. And I would like to keep it to display them. So maybe it is truly as simple as cutting off the little doors and having them be open so that you can see the Funkos. But I haven't decided that. So, with all of that being said, make sure you like, comment your favorite decor item, comment your favorite Funko so far, uh, comment if you got, if you got the Funko advent, cal advent calendar, that's Christmas, oof, comment if you have the spooky countdown calendar, and make sure you ring the bell so you get notified for the remainder days of the, days of Halloween, and everything after. Bye, guys.